okay so we are here we created this district and city okay when we select our district uh, it will populate the city related to that district in the district so now we need a button to submit and when we hit that we will perform the action okay so let's create that so go to front page so sorry front dot blade so here we have opened the form here we are closing form here uh, so we are populating our city here okay so uh, next we'll create a submit button down here all right so so form submit and I will give this name find all right so yeah so if you want to give uh, this class name okay you can give like so class button button success okay so now we can see that okay so okay so now uh, let's give this uh, the class our ID name okay so I'll give this ID okay now uh, let's go to script.js and here we'll write uh, our code so uh, what this function is doing we have written previously is this is uh, finding the curls in uh, between uh, near to this latitude and longitude values uh, it will find those girls which are uh, in 0 0.52 yeah we have written that code here in search calls controller so that is finding in tolerance range of minus 0 0.1 to plus 0 0.1 right so this function is doing that so we need to supply let and uh, longitude value and it will automatically find so only thing we need to do is just call the function with these values okay so yeah so that is it so for now we are just uh, calling it here when we allow the position also we will call this function when someone hits that submit button right so here so this is uh, saying exception because this form is pointing nowhere in front okay so now i uh, will not use the ps you will uh, load without loading the page so for that you know ajax right so now somewhere uh, you can create down below so here yeah, just create a event okay so when someone so id use that id which we have just created search girls okay so when someone hit submit okay submit there will trigger this function function with event i will just skip e for shortcut so we'll prevent the default action prevent prevent defaults okay so so default action will be submitting the form to that location uh, defined in here okay so we are not defined anything so we don't want to submit that instead we want to call the function okay so uh, before calling the function we should pass the latitude and longitude uh, data okay so yeah so for let uh, so if you see in our front page so here we load the city value okay um, related city so let me show you database okay so here is database location okay so when someone selects the district it will uh, do the ajax request and show us the city uh, in that district okay so now if we select the city and hit submit so it will uh, pass this to data so do, uh, those two select field contains these two data so now what we're gonna do is we take these two value and send another request to get let and long shoot value okay so this might uh, so we will uh, just optimize this process later on okay so for now this is the way 
so uh, let's do that so we are at script.js here we have uh, given the default action and now so let me make the two values okay so here so from here we'll get uh, the district value okay so let's do that so here district so we select that id and value inside that id similarly so that will not be let okay so that will be dist val all right so this will be city val so we will not use this id because no value inside this div okay so so actually if there is value here uh, that would be useful but we have to use the ajax results value here okay so yeah so here is slightly mistake so see so we will use this id city location okay so we are getting these two value this district value and city value now we will do same thing post to so in order to avoid typo i will just copy this okay so this time search i uh, will just do uh, get location chords okay so get location coordinates okay so we'll get create this one shortly and we'll pass these two values so this file will be same this file city file will be city all right so we are passing the data and we'll use the function to get those values so let's first create this url okay so remember go to api and yeah get location course go to api and make another one i will just paste that name get location coordinates so uh, i will use location course so let's go to search calls controller create another method mm, location course all right so now we'll uh, query the uh, database with these two value okay so first let's get those values all right so same thing request and request so first we'll get city well equals to request city val all right so this file so getting the data from the ajax post request or form is same thing okay so we'll get the data in same way so this file so now we are getting so this is php variable okay so here now all right so uh, now we'll get that item okay so call for column so we'll get that particular column and we'll access the latitude and let uh, longitude value of that column so this is inside location okay location mm, where location where this district okay district is this file also where 
ct calls to ct val all right so get the get us the first one okay so so what we are saying is just get us the column with this district value and this city value okay which will be coming from our form all right so district city now that we got the co that column or result you can give name okay so now let will be column let right similarly for lng okay so longitude value will be here lng so now that we are getting a latitude and longitude value so we will return this to our that is x function okay so we will return this in array so that will contain let and lng all right so uh, this part is done now let's check that out so okay we need to console log match first so that we can test out console.log okay so match all right so let's let's check that out I'll refresh the page okay I will choose any of the gistic like so and I'll say find all right method not allowed all right so here is silly mistake so I'm, I'm calling the submit function for that I have to keep the ID of form okay not ID of the field ID of the submit button okay so that was my bad all right so just keep that ID to form okay not so I'll cut that out from here and instead give it here so inside here okay so this is how you give uh, the ID to form okay so this is URL you can uh, define action here giving comma but uh, that is by default action equals to post so yeah so this is it uh, now so since uh, so we are submitting here but we are actually not submitting because we are preventing the default action okay in our JavaScript so we, we can do that we can uh, just post to this URL okay so API where is that so API uh, all right so api that location coordinates so i think we have yeah we have defined that in our api.psp here so get location coordinates like so so we can use that but we uh, really don't need that okay so if we don't do that it will reload the page and fetch data from there yeah it's fine okay so now uh, we are getting the ID and let's go back to script.js where we are doing our uh, action. So here we are, uh, we should get the matched value. Let's uh, reload that and let's see. All right, so let's see what is the error. Okay you might get this error if you do not have your internet connection okay so make sure you have that okay so when I try to access that I'm getting internal server error because I forgot T here so make sure that you are doing that right okay so so internal server error means uh, so something is wrong inside your code okay so inside your server all right so now we are getting the latitude and longitude value over here okay so here that uh, if you console log that we'll get that like so okay so latitude and longitude value so now we'll use the, uh, those values uh, to access the to call the search calls function okay so so match is the array so if the first element of the array should be the lat value okay so 
you can test by doing so okay all right so you can test that once more yeah so like so okay now we'll call the function called search girls okay so search girls so that value will be match first element okay similarly long value will be one okay second value since we are returning array up to items okay so the other functional functionality is same okay so it will create and mark the map okay so yeah so that's it so one more thing so you need to um, make the current location to the location of this okay district and city so uh, we'll do that as well so we'll call the search calls as well as create map right so yeah we want to create map and call search calls okay create map is also same thing it is taking the my let lang value so we'll first construct that so yeah so everything else will be same so this is how we construct that and we'll so before that yeah like so so in this case let value will be the first element match so why not just use these two value right there like so okay yeah so now we have that value okay so now call the function called create map uh, with this all right so now it should create the map as well as it should uh, search for girls okay now let's taste this uh, so I will reload the page so I will choose any location from here and I will hit find yeah so it is taking me to that location and showing the curls around that okay yeah like so so you can taste for any other one okay so now currently we don't have much data okay so you can you can do that and search for that so this is the location of girl yeah you can add more functionality so if you want to populate some data below here you can do the same thing okay just uh, make the request and just put the data there so uh, we can use this same function to do that okay so that's coming up next